Hi, this lesson is a multiplication review from 5.NBT.2.5. It's a fifth grade standard. Now, if you're going to need additional help or additional review on how to multiply whole numbers, like multi-digit numbers, I've also posted links on the Canvas page um, for two other short videos as well. What you're going to need is your composition notebook and a sharpened pencil. Now when you open up your composition notebook, I would like for you to open it up to the next available two pages like you see here. And we're going to start by writing on the left hand side where I wrote here, multiplication review. So go ahead and write that down on the left side of your composition notebook. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first example. Now what I did here is I went ahead and I'm showing you this on grid paper so that you can see that I'm writing one digit inside every single box because it's very important that when you're multiplying or really doing any type of math that you line up your numbers properly. In this first example we have 19 times 4. The first thing we're going to have to do is multiply the 9 times the 4. So 9 times 4 gives us 36. So I'm going to write my 6 directly underneath there and carry my 3. Now the next thing I want to do is multiply the 1 and the 4 like I've shown you here. So 1 times 4 gives you 4, but you have to add the 3 that we carried over. So 4 plus 3 gives us 7. And you're done with the problem. So to show you another example, we have 27 times 6. So the first two numbers that we have to multiply are the 7 times the 6. 7 times 6 is 42. So I write my 2 down beneath my 6, as you can see that I did that right over here, and I carried my 4 up here. The next two numbers that I need to multiply are the 6 and the 2. So 2 times 6, or 6 times 2, gives you 12 plus the 4. You can't forget about adding that 4 that's right over there. So 12 plus 4 gives you 16. Now when I write my 16 down, I want to make sure that I write one number in every box. So as I'm writing the 16, this is what it's going to look like. So 24 times 6 gives you 16. Now it's time for you to try a problem. Go ahead and write on your papers, and you could have already copied down the previous two examples, but this time I'm going to give you a problem to do on your own first. I would like for you to multiply 87 times 4. Go ahead and pause the video while you're multiplying this out, and when you're done, you can hit play again and check your work. So as we're multiplying 87 times 4, the first thing I need to do is multiply the 7 times the 4. That gives me 28. So notice that I wrote my 8 directly underneath the 4 and carried my 2. The next two numbers I need to multiply are my 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 2 more gives me 34. So my answer for this problem is 348. If you got that wrong, go ahead and correct it on your papers. So now we're going to add a three, we're going to put together a three digit number times a one digit number. So let's say we have 274 times 6. So go ahead and copy that down. Now, when you're multiplying this, you're going to multiply it the same way that we multiplied the previous three problems. You're going to take one number at a time. So, what I would like for you to do is go ahead and pause the video and try to multiply this out. And then when you're ready, hit play and you can check your work. So remember the first two numbers we have to multiply are the 4 times the 6. That's going to give us 24. Oops. Notice I carried my 2. The next two numbers I'm going to multiply are my 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42, plus the 2 that I carried gives me 44. So I'm going to write 44. Notice I carried my 4. And then the last two numbers I'm going to multiply are my 6 times 2, which gives me 12 plus 4 more is 16. So the answer to this problem is 1,644. 
So in this next example, we're going to be multiplying a two-digit number by a two-digit number. Now the process really is still the same. So there's this number right here, this two. What we're going to do is we're going to forget about that guy just for a moment because what we really want to focus on is multiplying these three numbers, the 53 times the 4, just like we did on the previous page. So to begin, we're going to first multiply the 3 times the 4. 3 times 4 gives us 12, so I'm putting my 2 down and I'm carrying my 1. The next two numbers I need to multiply are the 5 and the 4. 5 times 4 gives me 20, plus the 1 that I carried gives me 21. So notice how I'm writing the 21. I made sure that there was only one number, one digit, in each box. All right, so next... Since we've already taken care of the 4, and I'm talking about this 4 right over here, we've already multiplied 53 times 4. We can kind of forget about it now, since we've already taken care of it. Now what we need to do is multiply the 53 times the 2. Just like we just multiplied the 53 times 4, now it's, it's 53 times 2's turn. Now what you have to make sure is that we have to remember to keep the place value of the 2. Since the 4, since we multiplied by this 4 right here that I'm circling, since we took care of that guy, and we're now multiplying by the 2, which is really worth 20 since that number is 24, what I need to do is I need to put a placeholder over here. Now, most people use a zero. I know some teachers in the past um, have used, have had students put X's there. I don't have a preference whether you use an X or a zero there. I'm more of a zero type of person. But just make sure that you do put something there so that you don't forget and line up your numbers um, incorrectly. So now we're going to multiply our 3 times 2. So these are the numbers we're going to multiply now, 3 times 2. 3 times 2 gives us 6. So I'm going to write my 6 right there. There's nothing to carry. So next I'm going to multiply my 2 times 5. 2 times 5 gives me 10, so I'm going to write down the 10. Didn't really give myself enough room over here, but you can see that I wrote the 1 digit over in where the next box would be. Now I'm going to add up my two rows. 2 plus 0 gives me 2, 1 plus 6 gives me 7, 2 plus 0 gives me 2, and then 1 plus nothing gives me 1. So your answer for this problem is 1,272. All right, so now it is your turn. So we're going to go ahead and multiply. Let's do 76 times 34. So I'll walk you through this problem if you still need some assistance, but if you think you know how to do it or want to try completely on your own, go ahead and pause the video and work through it right now. So now the first two numbers you need to multiply are 6 times 4. Go ahead and write that down. Once you've done that, you want to then multiply the 7 times the 4. Now be sure to add in whatever number you um, carried over here in that area there. And write that down. Now once you've multiplied the 76 times the 4, remember you want to put a placeholder right over here in this box, whether you use a 0 or an X. So the next set of numbers you want to multiply are the 3 times the 6. Go ahead and write that down. Remember you have to carry a 1 on for that one. Then you're going to finish out by doing 7 times 3. And write that down. And the two rows of numbers that you now have, you're going to add together. So let's see how you did. So remember the first thing I need to multiply is 6 times 4. That's going to give me 24. Then I need to multiply the 7 times the 4, which gives me 28, plus the 2 that I carried, that gives me 30. Now we um, remember we had to put our placeholder over here, which was our 0, because I just multiplied by that 4. So now I'm going to multiply the 3 times the 6, which gives me 18, carry my 1, 
Now, sometimes you want to make sure that you cross that other guy off since we already used him up. And the last thing we're going to do is multiply 3 times 7, which gives us 21, plus the one we carried is 22. Now we can add up our two rows. And we get a final answer of 2,584. All right, so now on the left side of your composition notebook is what we've just been working on, on our notes and practice problems. Where I'm gonna leave you off here is I'm going to give you four problems for you to do over on this side over here. So the four problems that I want you to complete and have ready when you come into class tomorrow are the four that are listed here on this paper. Now, if it makes it easier for you to do your multiplication problems on grid paper like this, you could always go online and just Google grid paper or graph paper. They have different sizes. So if you do print off a sheet, make sure you print one off that has boxes that are big enough that you can um, write your numbers in and be able to comfortably do your math problems. And you could always just glue it into your composition notebook. So be sure to have these guys done. Now, if you need additional help or more videos to watch, if you go to the Canvas page right underneath where this video was linked, um, you will see two more videos on multiplying. One is on multiplying by a single digit, and the second video is by multiplying by a double digit number. All right, you guys, good luck, and we will see you back in class.